are you stuck in auto on your camera and you're afraid to get out of it so you won't get good pictures? Well, fear not. At the end of this two minute video, you will know how to get out of auto mode. There are two common modes that most beginners use. One's automatic and the other's program mode. For the purpose of this video, let's just consider them the same. Great photos can be taken in auto. Don't get me wrong. But if you really want to take your game to the next level, you need to learn the exposure triangle and start taking advantage of it. So here are some tips to get yourself out of auto. Number one, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Use objects around your house. You'll see in my examples here, I'm using Eeyore, Tigger, and Pooh. Step number two, or tip number two, take baby steps. You can't do this overnight. So we're gonna go in aperture priority for this video. You could use shutter priority, and the ISO we're gonna leave in automatic. So my first photo, check out Eeyore is in the foreground, he's in focus. Tigger and Pooh are in the background. My aperture is set to 1.8, shutter speed went to 1 over 80, and the ISO is at 1600. Look at photo number two. Photo number two, I set my aperture to 5.6. The shutter speed is now 1 over 80 still, but the ISO went to 16,000. The final photo, I set my aperture to f16. The shutter speed dropped to 1 over 25, and the ISO jumped to 32,000, but notice Tigger and Pooh in the background are a little bit less blurry now. So now for my final tip. This is the most important tip of all, other than practice, practice. The final tip is to put your camera back in auto when you're done. It's nothing more frustrating when you grab your camera for that quick photo, for that instant photo that you need right now, and have some unusual setting that you're not used to. Set it back to auto. Trust me. You'll thank me later.